As we can see in front of us for uh, the past paper, we have exercise one, reading comprehension. This one of the question of IG system in the past paper for the English course. Who can tell me what are the criteria or the steps to answer this type of question? Do you have any idea? Yes, Mr. Yes, who can tell me? Uh, can I say? Yes, who? Omar? Muhammad Mustafa. Muhammad Mustafa, yes, Muhammad. We can first read the questions, then we read the comprehension. Yes, well done, Muhammad, yes. But before, after we read the question, uh, at first, at first, as you said, uh, we start by reading the question, then we underline the key words in the question. What I mean by the key words, I mean here the question words. Okay? Yes. To be able to find the answer. For this type of question, you will find the answer in sequence. Exercise one, you will find the answer in sequence. But exercise two, you will find the answer in sequence, except the last question. You can find the answer in different position uh, in the text. You follow me? Yes. Yes. You can hear me well or no? Yes. Okay. Now we can now we can start with the first question. Who can answer with me? Me. Uh, just raise your hand, please. Okay. To know who is who is uh, talking first. Okay, Moaz, can you start? Moaz, Said. Yes, yes. Yes. The first question that we have here. Yes, can you read? Moaz. Yes. Who did Anna meet on her trip to the rainforest? Yes. The first question said, "Who did Anna meet on her trip to the rainforest?" Let's find the answer by reading in sequence from the first paragraph. At first, the title. Yes, uh, yes, Moines. Uh, huh? Spotlight on chocolate. Spotlight, as we know, it means focus on or attention. You can write the meaning if you wish. Write the meaning of this word. Spotlight means focus on or attention. I think that you can see the meaning, yes? Yes. Okay. Yes, complete, Moines. Huh? In the month's magazine, Anna Lee. In this, take care. In this month's okay. magazine. Huh? In this month's magazine, Anna Lee, our expert on agriculture matters, reports on a trip to Billy's. Yes, to Billy's, huh? Like, like many me. people, I love chocolate. And on the recent visit to Central America, I found out more, uh, more about where this delicious sweet tasting substance comes from. Yes, huh? Cocos trees. I travel deep into the beautiful rainforest in Billy. Just straight minds, please. Yes, for the one who raised his hand. Yes, Yusuf. Yes. Yes, you raise your hand. Do you have a question? No. Do you have I... any request? No, no, Mr. I just okay. Uh, okay. Uh, what I asked from you is uh, if you if someone start to speak for from all of you. Please lower your hand, okay? Okay. Thanks so much. Uh, yes, my hand complete. There I was introduced to the cacao tree farmers uh, whose crop is used for making chocolate. Yes, what do I mean by cacao? Cacao, as we know, is a tropical trees with seeds that are used to make the hot drink, you know? Cacao. Yes, yes. Like okay. Chocolates. Yes. yes. Yes, mister. Yes. The farmers pointed to colorful buds the size of football growing straight out of the cacao tree trunk. They told me uh, that one bud of white beans contain enough co cacao to make two small bars of chocolate. Okay, the question here. Have you found the answer of the first one? Mr. Maybe... Uh, hmm. uh, Three farmers? Yes, the cacao, three farmers. The cacao, three farmers. The cacao, three farmers. So this would be the answer of the first question. Thanks so much, Moise. We'll write it now, Mr. And no, with this, after we finish all, I show you the answer here, OK? OK. Question letter P. Yes, Omar? 
uh, number B, on which part of the tree do the ca uh, cacao buds grow? Yes. It's complete reading from the point that uh, Moise stopped. Yes, one more. Start, start, from, no, start from I travel deep, this one. I travel deep in the beautiful rainforest uh, in Belize. There I was introduced to the cow tree farmers whose crop was used for making chocolate. The farmers wanted to color for but the size of the footballs uh, growing. Yes, what at first the we talk with is what the meaning of the word pots? Huh? Do you have any idea? Small Except things. maybe it's uh, from the text clue, I could say that it is uh, something you need to make for the cacao or uh, it's something in cacao, uh, in a cacao. Okay, we can know the meaning now. A long thin case filled with seeds that develop from that develop from the tree. Can you see the answer? Sorry. Okay, a long thin. You can you can see the meaning. Yes. 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 A long yes, thin case yes. filled with seeds that developed. From flowers, so it's a part of the flowers. I think that you studied it in biology or science, maybe. Yes, yes, or no? Huh? Yes, maybe, Mr. Yes, yes. Okay. so a long chain case felt with seeds that develops from flowers. This is the meaning of pots. You can write the meaning, please. Write the meaning of this word. Pots. Okay, yes, pots. Yes. Along the thin case, filled, filled with seeds that develops from flowers. Uh, yes, Omar, complete reading. The farmers wanted to color for both the size of the foot, uh, footballs growing straight of the tree trunk. They told me that one uh, bud of white beans contains enough cacao to make two small bars of sugar. Okay, can you go back for the question? Yes, the question say that on which part of the tree uh, do the cacao buds grow? Yes, on uh, which I, part? Uh, yes, huh? uh, on the tree trunk, on the cacao yes. tree Ex trunk. Yes, excellent, Tom. Yes, tree trunk. What do I mean by tree trunk? It's a thick main stem of a tree. A thick main stem of a tree. Thanks so much, Homer. Who can answer as me, Christian? Letter C. Letter C. Can I answer? Uh, Muhammad Medhat. Muhammad. Muhammad Medhat. Muhammad Medhat. Can you hear me? Mister, can I answer? Who? Yusuf? Yes. yes, Yusuf. Okay. Welcome, Yusuf. You can answer letter C. Muhammad Minhat, please don't be late again, please. Okay. Yes, Yusuf. Question letter C. Uh, how many cocoa pods are needed to be uh, to, to produce parts two parts of chocolate? How many cacao pods are needed to produce two parts of chocolate? Let's find the answer. We'll commit from the part that Amar stopped. Yes, they told. Yes, uh, they told me that one pod of white beans contains enough cacao to make two small bars of chocolate. So, what's the answer? Uh, one, one pod. Excellent. One pod. You can write one pod of white beans. Of white beans contains enough. But but I'd like to say something for the for your answer. Uh, for exercise one, I mean in general, you need to write short answer. Okay, put this point in your mind. So if you want to write, you can write one pot. One pot, okay. one pot of white beans only. Okay. One point, one pot of white beans. No need to write all these sentences. Okay, thanks so much, uh, Yusuf. <coughs> Yusuf, what again? Uh, Yusuf Rami. Yusuf Rami, yes. Thanks so much, Yusuf. So this is the answer of question later and C. And question for a for letter B will be trunk. Only. Yes, we can write tree trunk or trunk. That's enough. Your answer, uh, 
you can write not more than three words, just only according, according to the question, I mean, according to the question. So you are required to write short answer, okay? For this okay. type of exercise. You follow me, grade eight? Yes. Huh? yes, uh, yes, yes now, then now you have any problem? No. no. Okay. Muhammad Islam, where is he? Muhammad Islam. Muhammad Islam. Yes, mister. How are you, Muhammad? I'm fine. How about you, mister? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. So much. Uh, we can answer question D, Muhammad. Uh, what? Question letter D. Okay. Can you answer? Uh, it is the question at first. Uh, how is uh, cacao uh, uh, liquor used? Give two yes. details. How is cacao liquor used? Give two details. Let's find the answer together. We stop from the part that Yusuf has stopped. Okay. We start sorry, from the part that Yusuf stopped. Making chocolate. Okay. Start from the digging. Uh, after the cacao beans have been harvested, the growers send them to a factory where they are roasted and turned into an oily pasty, pasty called cacao liquor. Some of this liquor goes straight into chocolate. The rest is pressed to make cacao butter. If you have ever wondered why chocolate melts in your mouth, it's due to the addition of cacao butter which melts at body temperature in order to make different kinds of chocolate, sugar and vanilla are also added in varying amounts. So, what's your answer? Mister, so it can be uh, uh, that it make uh, like uh, tastes, uh, many tastes of chocolate and uh, also yes. Uh, can you read? Can you read the question again, Muhammad? He said here. Uh, how the, how is cacao liquor used? Yes, uh, he asked about the usage of. The, he asked about the usage the usage of cacao liquor. Okay. Yep. Uh, some is uh, pressed into chocolate. Yes. Huh. To make what? Uh, to make cacao butter. Yes. What else? This is the first point. What else? Uh, and the other one, uh, it melts with the body temperature uh, in order to make a uh, different kind of uh, chocolate, uh, sugar, and vanilla. Yes, but you can see that some of this liquid goes straight into chocolate directly. Yes. Yes, Muhammad, you agree with me? Yes, yes. Into chocolate. And we can say the rest is uh, pressed to make what? Cacao butter. Yes, cacao butter. That's enough for the details. But we have more, yes? Okay. Yes, he said, if you have ever wondered why chocolate melts in your mouth, uh, this this one for the next question, not for this one. So we have two points for Christian D into chocolate and to make cacao butter. Okay, Muhammad Islam. Okay, mister. Thanks so much for coming. Uh, who can answer the next one? Mr. Can I answer? Who? Said. Said, yes, okay, Said. Huh? Um, uh, question, question E. Why does chocolate melt at body temperature? Yes, why does chocolate melt at body temperature? Let's find the answer. Uh, complete reading or answer? Yes, complete reading. Huh? Uh, if you ever, if you have ever wondered why chocolate melts in your mouth, it's due to the addition of cacao butter, which melts at body temperature. In order to make different kinds of chocolate, sugar and vanilla are also added in varying amounts. So the answer would be? Uh, due to the addition of cacao butter. Excellent side. Or we can write? Uh, addition of cacao butter. Cacao butter. Yes, we can, as you said, it's, it's due to, it means because uh, of the addition uh, of cacao butter, this one, or we can write what uh, Said have. Uh, yes, Mister. Uh, or we just write that's uh, used in different kinds of chocolates uh, like sugar and vanilla. 
why it's melted, as we can say, in addition of cocoa butter or another meaning, it has a cocoa, a cocoa butter. Yes? Yes. Yes. Thanks so much, Sunny. Thanks so much. Well, as the next question, Christian F. Christian F. What can I answer? Who want to answer? Yes. Sorry again, Yusuf Rafat. Yes, Yusuf. Yes, can I answer it? Yes, Yusuf Rafat. Yes. Okay. What are the benefits of traditional method of growing cacao? Yes. To the yes. Um, so, uh, read the paragraph. Yes, read the paragraph. And realize the farmers that I spoke to were proud to be growing cacao, the traditional uh, way. This age old method has many advantages. The cacao trees are shaded by the tall forest canopy, which prevents the trees drying out when it gets hot. Uh, furthermore, for, furthermore, in this environment, natural predators thrive and they destroy the insects. Okay, wait, that... wait, you see, please. For the word canopy, what does it mean? What forest stuff? canopy. Forest, he said here by the tall forest canopy. What does it mean, canopy? Can you write the meaning? It means shade or cover. Shade or cover. It means the shade or the cover of the forest, I mean. Okay. The shade of the forest. For the word predators, what does it mean? Huh? You I know, Mr. Predators, that uh, animals or uh, uh, something that uh, eat another uh, animal, animals that can eat another animal. Yes, so we can say wild animals. Yes. 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 For the word this reeve, huh? it means do well. Thrive, do well. You can write the meaning. Okay, write the meaning. Okay, okay. Mister, what's the meaning of canop, uh, canop, canopy? Canopy, uh, shade okay. or cover. Shade, shade or shade cover. cover. Okay, I can show you the meaning of it. Shade or cover, okay? Predators, wild animals. The word sleep means do well. Uh, yes, yes, prophet communicated. Uh, and uh, they destroy the insects that would eat the cacao crop. Mr. Uh, the question was, uh, mm. uh, what are the benefits? So I will, uh, can I give the two advantages? Yes. Okay, Mr. Uh, the first one, the tree is uh, drying out when it gets hot. Uh, this prevent it because of the uh, shaded by the tall forest company. It means the first advantage is preventing uh, the trees when drying out when it gets hot. Yes, excellent. What else? Uh, the second one, Yes, um, he said here furthermore. Uh, huh? Yes, Mr. Predators uh, destroy the insect uh, insects so that uh, uh, so insects would not eat uh, the cacao crop. Yes, excellent. Yes, profit. Well done. So the, the second one, they destroy the insect that would eat the cacao crop. Thanks so much, Yusuf. Well done, Yusuf. Thanks so much. Okay, we have another point for this also. Huh? Who can add extra information or extra point for this question? Letter F. Hmm. Can I answer, Mr. Yes, can you, you want to complete the answering for the same question? He asked for two details, but we have more. Okay. Hmm. okay. Who can complete with me, huh? Uh, when they harvest, there's something- Who, who at first was- When they me? harvest, there's something Ahmed, called leaf Ahmed Rumi. Oh, Ahmed Rami. Ahmed Rami. Okay, yes, Ahmed. Huh? Yes. Indeed, from the farmers. Huh? Ahmed. The farmers also showed me the yeah. cacao leaf litter, which covered the forest floor. Leaf litter is a thick layer of foreign leaves, which arranges the soil and helps plants grow. And help plants grow. So what the leaf Without litter? Without leaf litter, chemical. Yes, what is the rule of the leaf litter? Huh? It falls on the ground and helps the plant grow. Ahmed, is it what here? For leaf litter. Which the soil. Yes, which enriches the soil. Yes. 
So we can consider this point for the same yes. question. I mean here for the leaf letter. Okay. Yeah, will you follow me? Okay. Yes, what else? Yes. Huh? What else complete? Without leaf letters, without huh? leaf letter, chemical fertilizers have to be used, which can get into streams and pollute water supply. So, they mean here that Ahmed, you said which they mean that listen to me, Ahmed. You said which in which is the soil, oh, and okay. what else, and what else, and it helps. prevents uh, no, no, and it they prevents have... polluting the environment. Ahmed, the same because line not... in the same line, he said which in which is the soil, yes, and helps plants yes. grow, yes, Ahmed. Yes. You follow me? Okay, great. It, as we can see together, we found the answer in sequence. Yes? Am I yes. right? Yes. So this type of question was this point in your mind. Exercise one, you will find the answer in sequence. You will not find the answer for any question before the other. Okay? So the question or the answer, I mean, for any question would be, for all the question would be, uh, in sequence. In okay. Yes, arrange in arrange way. Okay, in an arranging way. Uh, for the next one, question G. Who? Omar El Bara. Omar El Bara. Yes, Omar. Okay. Question what G. prize what? will competition winners receive? Uh, uh, competition, yes, and uh, enter your check, enter our chocolate competition. And if you win, yes. you, will, you will receive a ticket to visit the Maya Gold Chocolate Factory. Ticket to visit Maya Gold Chocolate Factory, excellent, Omar. Yes, well done. Uh, for the competition, Omar found the answer according to according to the title here. He said, Here, competition, this word is written in our question, yes. So he finds the answer in a single way. Yes, Homer, well done. You will receive a ticket to visit uh, as, a, as a Maya gold. So when we write the answer, we write short answer. So we can write a ticket to the visit, uh, sorry, a ticket to visit the Maya gold. Thanks so much, Homer, and God. So can I answer the last question? Who? So can I answer? <clears throat> so who? Who want to answer? I'd like Me someone. Answer. Yes, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Fine. Are you fine? Yes. I miss you so much. I'm good online. I know. Also. Yeah, I'm good. So last question, huh? Apart, Apart from your competition answer, what should you include on the postcard? Yes. Mr. We will read on For, in competition. Yes. Apart from your competition answer, what should you include on the postcard? Yes. Uh, uh, to enter the competition, just tell us where my gold chocolate comes from. Put your your answer on a postcard and remember to give us your name, address, and age. Mister, oh. to to give uh, your name and address and age. Yes, so well done, uh, Amjad. So when we write, we can write what name, name, address, and age. Excellent, Amjad. Thanks so much. So as we know together, uh, this is a simple way for answering this type of question, exercise one. We found the answer in seconds. Do you have any problem? No. And grade eight? Huh? No. Uh, no problem? Yes. So you know how can you answer this type of question? Yes. Uh, for the homework of uh, the past paper would be Page 17 and 18. I sent this page to you on the group or maybe on the school gap if it started, uh, if it starts to work. Okay. Yeah, okay. We will answer the questions uh, as a homework. As a homework, yes. I asked one of you, the one who is honest, maybe Omar or Mohammed Islam, can make a group for, for uh, the homework. Mr. Abbas, who makes the groups? Okay, okay. Anyone? Okay, anyone. Okay, yes, okay, I'll best. Make. okay, make this group and add me as a group admin, okay, to check the homework, okay? Okay. 
Uh, after you do the homework, I send you the answer key directly after checking it, okay? To check your answer, okay? But I'd like for you to find the answer. Please, for the homework of writing, this point I'd like to ask you. No one copy from the other because I read any sentence that you have read, okay? Uh, we have, I suppose that we have two sessions, but I didn't know before because the timetable received it late. So uh, we have, I'll make an introduction for our novel, A Tale of Two Cities. Do you agree with me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I Mr. stopped recording. Yes. You attend the past, uh, the past papers, uh, the same that we solved now? Uh, it's already sent, but I send it with the answer key. You can copy the answer key if you can, please. Can you copy? Answer the marker scheme. Yeah, erase the marker scheme, please. Okay. This is the answer key for what we have in this part. Can you copy or no? Yes. Okay. Please. Right. I... Yes, sir, I wrote it with you when you was highlighting. Excellent. Okay. Okay. So one who didn't write. If you finish writing this, raise your hand. If you finish writing, raise your hand. Okay. Is so writing on the computer or in the notebook? Uh, if you have a you have a paper. Oh, uh, in the paper, yeah? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, you can uh, bring a notebook for you, okay? Notebook is better for you to write anything, okay? Uh, tell me, inshallah, we attend at school, okay? We because can discuss uh, together about this point. You, uh, so you need a, a notebook for English? Yes, notebook for English to do the homework, okay? You want to accept this? Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, for the bus paper, if you, if you received it, you will not need for notebook for bus paper, okay? Or, Write no, the answer I in the same book. And uh, as a yes, I need notebook only for the homework. Okay, it will be for writing and the grammar homework. Okay. So you will teach us grammar? Yes, English at all. Okay. And you will teach us both both grammar and uh, and literature. The four skills. Okay, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. Okay, English okay. at all. Okay. Okay. Sir, there is a novel? Yes, you have novel. I tell of two cities. I discuss with you now after you finish writing. Okay, I give you an introduction about this novel. It's very simple and very easy. Don't worry, okay? As you know me before, I'm teaching with the movie, yes? Yes. yes. So use videos to show uh, the explanation and understand it. Uh, thanks so much, Shabnes, for adding me on the group. Welcome. Uh, have you finished writing to start the novel? Huh? Okay. Uh, we wrote for letter C, we, he wrote only the word one as a short answer, okay? So it can be acceptable if you write one. Uh, may I ask you a question, uh, something, please? Can you open your cam? What? Can you open your cam, please? Camera? Yes. Uh, Muhammad Mustafa, are you new, a new student? No, I didn't attend in grade seven only. So you were in grade six at the same school, Sophie? Yes, I'm in the soccer school from grade one. Okay, Muhammad, we'll come back now. Thank you, Mr.
Uh, if you follow my instruction in English course, you will not suffer this year. You'll find anything will be, inshallah, very simple. I hope, inshallah. Huh. It's supposed that it will take uh, five minutes as a break or no? Last two questions only. No, no, I asked uh, another point about another point. Uh, do you have a break uh, between the sessions or no? Yes, five. Yes, we have. Five minutes? Between every period. Yes, only this time of break, I mean. No, I mean for five minutes be, uh, between each period. Yes, we have five minutes each You have, okay. Do you need to go to bathroom or do anything? Huh? No. Uh, yes, mister. Do you want? Uh, yes. Okay, you can go, but please don't leave the session, okay? Oh, okay. We are going to start at 11.25. We have about two minutes okay, to start for the novel. Okay. Uh, have you finished writing, all of you? We want G and H. Okay. G and H. Mister, can you go up a little? Which point? Uh, only like this. Okay. Uh, Hey, after Rahman Sam. Abdul Rahman Sam. Yes, Mister. Yes, have you just attended? Or you what, are, Mister? Have you just attended or from the beginning you attend with me? No, no, from the beginning, but uh, I lacked something. Okay, never mind, Abdul. Uh, for any problem during our session about the internet, please try to send me on the WhatsApp privately, okay, to send me. To avoid writing your name as a, uh, to avoid uh, making a, consider you as absent, uh, as absent for uh, our session. 